Project Green Jay was designing a new frozen vegetable facility for ConAgra. It was replacing a 100-year-old facility, but it was for producing peas, corn, and rice for the brand. We did a lot of collaboration with ConAgra on this. There was a ton of collaboration between our engineering team and the operations team as to what the real business need was, what was the new model, what that line of the future needed to be. It was a one-stop shop for ConAgra because we had all the engineering resources and all the construction resources to be able to make this go from one end to the other. And then take that information and collaboration with their operations team to decide how we would build this plant of the future. We started in the beginning of 2020, pre-COVID, and the goal was we have to build a new plant for them by harvest season 2022. With the pre-COVID mindset, it's like this appears to be a reasonable schedule. That we have the right team members, we've got enough people to make this happen, supply chain's going to be normal. COVID hits us then, right after we had set these deadlines, set that true north, this is what we had to do, here's what our costs were, now we have supply chain problems. Just about everything was delayed. I think about 80-some 80, 80 percent of our of the equipment that was coming to site was delayed. Our electrical components, which were really the critical piece on a brand new automated facility. Our team had the foresight to then procure early. We still ran into a couple of issues, had to source them from very creative ways. In the middle of the pandemic, the Suez Canal accident happened. So we had to make sure that we're securing ship routes outside of that mess. Securing truck drivers was also quite a bit of a challenge. Sometimes we wouldn't even hear uh, for, our, for our truck routes right up until two days before they were supposed to show up on site. When we're sitting there facing not being able to get certain pieces of equipment, not following the normal sequence that we, were, we had, it was extremely stressful for the team. We're sitting there going, I, I don't know if we're going to do this. I don't know if we can hit that date. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it material wasn't available, we had to think out of the box. We, we had to turn around and say, okay, let's change our design. We can't get this piece of equipment. We can't get this particular card. Let's change our design. Let's, let's work with what we have. The finish line from the very beginning was absolutely saying that we have to hit harvest season. That was the absolute line in the sand. You have to be able to produce this product when that crop is ready to come in from the fields. Our goal was continuously was to find creative ways in which that we could make it happen. A hundred and sixty pieces went into that roof pretty amazingly. The helicopter came in, everybody was excited, and it was super fast and actually ended up being a lot more efficient than, than the crane picks would have been. We had to make sure that we were very careful then to follow our process, right? We have a pretty thorough checkout uh, process list, do our safety checks, right? Do our validations. So we were not only committed to do it fast, but committed to do it right. Harvest comes, peas. Peas was the first one. We were able to bring it in on first day. We were able to actually run product from end to end. On the day that we scheduled two years before, we hit that exact date and we're able to process those peas from one end to the other the plant. That was amazing. Actually, the, the peas are very green and are on blue belts. It was very bright. This is, this is awesome. We've got this thing done. There was those difficult times. The truth of the matter is in those moments, I'm telling you it's about the person that's at your side, that team member that you trust, and you know that you're gonna be able to make this happen. I think the biggest win is, um, is that the team stayed together all the way through, that nobody ever even thought of giving up, and that we were able to see it all the way through to the end. We collaborated, we dealt with every piece of adversity that we had in front of us. We generated and created a plant with them that is operational, that operated from day one, that hit yields higher than they had expected from their old facility. We reduced their overall water consumption by more than 25%, which was a huge, huge improvement for them. Both is absolutely learned and understands that they can do another one of this, of this magnitude or, or even bigger. 
a different level of complexity. We can do greenfield turnkey. We can do brownfield turnkey. We will go in and understand your problem first, and then we'll solve it with the proper science and engineering.